we have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 here and today I'm going to show you how to prevent the operating system from killing applications in the background. So having a smartphone gain a reputation of having poor battery life can ruin future sales of the, of the device and it can really hurt the bottom line for that particular company. It can even start to gain a more widespread reputation. We saw this recently with Huawei and the VLC media player where Huawei was killing just about every application in the background no matter what it was doing. So if you were using VLC and you were listening to a an album, the battery optimization that Huawei had implemented into their, in their devices was so strict that it would just cut off and close the application even if you were browsing the web or doing something else on your phone while that media and mu or music player application was playing your song or your album in the background. So there's a very fine line that smartphone manufacturers have to go through I have to walk down to find out what the proper balance is between letting the applications do what they need to do and preventing the poorly optimized applications from chewing through the battery life and again resulting in a bad reputation for the phone itself instead of for the application because it can be difficult to find out if it's in a, a particular application that is chewing through your battery life or if it is the phone itself. Now Xiaomi and the Redmi Note 7 has a feature built into MIUI that lets you control the level of battery optimization and battery battery usage restrictions on a per application basis and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today so there are a lot of applications that you would want to use in the background and to, that you would want to just let continuously run in the background for instance if you had the tasker application you usually install that set up some type of automated script and then you never open up that application again. Now Xiaomi and MIUI will see that you have not opened up Tasker in X amount of days or X amount of hours and because of that it can potentially kill off that process in the background because it thinks you're not using it but the application just continues to run in the background that's going to result in whatever automated script you have to stop working and that can become an issue same thing for an application like better battery stats now I have yet to set it up on this Xiaomi device yet but better, better battery stats is an application that sits in the background and collects data on battery usage for not only individual applications but also the overall Android operating system it logs wake lock details and a whole bunch of other things but it's not something that you open up all the time like I would install better battery stats and may not even open it up for maybe a month at a time but Xiaomi and the MIUI could see that I'm not opening up better battery stats therefore since better battery stats is not being opened then that means it needs to sh kill that process in the background then if MIUI kills that process then all logging ceases to function and that ruins the whole point of the application so while I do understand why OEMs are adding this type of battery optimization or restrictions to their op to their operating system it can get out of hand at times but at least most of them are adding in ways to quote unquote whitelist certain applications so they don't get killed while they're in the background
So to prevent the Redmi Note 7 from killing an application in the background, we need to open up the settings application. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit so we get to the system and device section. And you're going to see an option here called battery and performance. Now the second section here is called battery saver with the option choose apps. We're going to tap on that. It's going to give us a list of applications that are active or sleeping. If they're active, then that means that they're, they were either recently used or they're currently being run in the background. Because I just opened up Better Battery Stats, it is now active. But before I did this video, it was listed under the sleeping apps. And that means that it's not going to be collecting up any, any logs for... Um, battery usage. So if you find your application is in the sleeping apps section, all you have to do is tap on it and you're going to get your background settings options. However, if the application that you specifically want to um, prevent MIUI from killing in the background and it's in the active apps section, you just tap it, and then we tap the save power option. So it just depends on which section your app is in on how to get to this background settings option. So again, just to say, for example, join. I don't open up join, but I use join to send applications both to and from say my computer or another device so I always want to let join run in the background so it can grab those notifications and display them whenever they come and even just as I'm do I've, as I've done this video you can already see that MIUI has put better battery stats down into the sleeping apps section and that's definitely just not good in any case, we want to tap on the application that we want to prevent the Xiaomi Red Redmi Note 7 from closing and killing off in the background. And then we just want to tap on the No Restrictions option. Once a application has been set for No Restrictions, that means that the, batter, that the application can run as much as it wants. Even though you set an application to no restrictions, if it has been coded properly by the developer, it's not going to chew through your battery life. Having something like Better Battery Stats or Tasker or Join set to no restrictions doesn't mean you're going to have poor battery life. It just means it's going to let the application run as it wants to run and as it needs to run to perform what it's supposed to do. Now if you had a poorly optimized application, maybe a mobile game, or a lot of, even something like Facebook. Facebook just wants to always be on and always send you notifications and alerts and screen pop-ups and this, that, and the other. So for something like Facebook, if you, if you let Facebook be on no restrictions, Sure, you will get those notifications in instantly. However, it's going to chew through your battery life just because that's the nature of Facebook. This can also happen with other social networking applications like WhatsApp or Instagram or Snapchat or any of the other ones because they constantly want to get your attention so that you go back into their application and use it more. That's the whole point is to get you to use their social network more than anything else. So be careful of what you choose to add to the no restrictions section in the battery saver option because if you add the wrong application you could result in very very poor battery life And there you have it. That is how to prevent the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 
from killing specific applications in the background no matter how often you use them.